Hey good folks, Dr. Charlie Brown here. Welcome to today. Let us take our three deep breaths and uh, come together to connect and gather ourselves. Hey, hey, I missed you all last week. I was teaching an in-person class and I forgot to tape one to tape a Charlie Chats. <laughs> so we're back again today on our regular schedule and all, all fingers, all signs seem to be pointing to the idea that we learn our lessons by getting through their opposites. Now, I, in this whirlwind trip that I just took, I really needed masculine energy. So I saw a number of men that I hadn't seen in a while. Um, and it was good, it was good to reconnect in that way. Uh, it was good to just sit and talk with people in masculine energy, with men that I hadn't sat and talked to in a while. And through all of that, and then kind of in my meditation this morning, all of that was just giving me a deeper understanding of learning from the opposites. If we come in, one of my teachers is Dr. Sue Mortar, and so she talks about what she calls the bus stop conversation, where at the soul level, we decide what lessons we're going to learn in this lifetime. Now, that may or may not be consistent with your own beliefs, but just imagine for a moment that that's what happens. And so in this bus stop conversation, we say, hey, I want to learn this lesson at a level two. I want to learn it a little bit. Or I want to learn this lesson at a level 10. Now, what happens, as she says, at the bus stop conversation is that we have to get other souls to say, hey, I'm going to give you this at a level 10. So just think about that. If I'm trying to learn self-love, then what I'm going to experience in this life is self-hatred in some form or another. And if I'm trying to learn that at a level 10, that's going to be a really big experience of self-hatred that I have to come through in order to get to a level 10 of self-love. This is true for big things for level 10 things. It's also true for smaller things, level one or two or less than five. So think about these souls as really our greatest teachers, that we learn, we learn the thing we're trying to learn by experiencing its opposite in equal magnitude. If my further understanding of that is that that is based on what is de facto, what is actually acceptable in any particular society at any given time. So if my experience of pain, if level 10 at an acceptable societal rate of physical pain was me stubbing my toe on a dresser, then if I came in to experience level 10 physical pain, in that particular society dimension, whatever it is, then I might I might stub my toe on a lot of dressers. Of course, a stubbed toe on a dresser is not a level 10 of pain in the current world that we have created. And so my experience of using that example of physical pain may be maybe torture, maybe human torture or something like that if I really did come in looking for a level 10 of that experience. But what's the opposite of that? Can I love myself so as to not find my situ myself in situations where I'm going to be in this level 10 of pain? And so really paying attention to often the things giving you, you know, giving you, ugh, giving you pushback or the things that don't seem to be going right. Ask yourself, what is the opposite of this thing in equal measure? Um, and, and that is perhaps one of the things that you decided to learn in this lifetime. And see if you can 
start to maybe you can't get to the full opposite but can you get a little bit closer can you get one step closer in vibration can you really gratitude is important can you really be grateful for the experience as you're having it in this moment and and grateful for the learning opportunity that it provides so that is something to keep in mind as you go about your day that the lessons we're here to learn often come to us in the form of their opposites at equal and opposite measure. So it's kind of like um, the laws of physics. So we're not going to get into the laws of physics today. Know that your learning is as it, as it, um, as you designed it to be. And I know that that can sound like victim blaming. I had to really come, come through a lot of difficult lessons for me to understand it, not as victim blaming, but as a, as a decision at an energetic level, at a soul level, before we entered this earthly realm. And the souls that cause you the most frustration, the people that cause you the most frustration, are also your, your greatest teachers in getting you to the lesson that you said you wanted to learn. And so kind of holding that in a more holistic way. Um, and my, my further understanding, as I said, was the idea that that only works at whatever level society of the society you live in, whatever level that that allows it, society allows it to be. So something to ponder today. It's always my distinct honor and pleasure to connect with you here on these Charlie chats. And I hope you join me again in a few days when we are at it again. Until that time, I am Dr. Charlie, and I want you to take great care. Bye-bye now.